What's up, folks? It's your boy, DT 2.0. And today we have a special guest or another special guest, the cousin of my Alienware M15 R3 OLED that I have sitting right here is the M15 LCD with the 300 megahertz buttery goodness screen. Now, the difference between the two, obviously, is the screen. But um, that's it. They have the same specs. Everything is exactly the same except the screen. Now, a little bit of background uh, about this. I didn't see many reviews on either of these computers. So when I ordered them, I ordered them a few, probably about a week behind each other. And what I did was I trusted the system because we see a whole lot of um, horror stories online about shipping these computers because every Alienware you buy, with the exception of the ones from Best Buy, uh, are you know custom built and then shipped to you from China. Now, a lot of folks get scared, right, COVID and all of that, but I'm two for two in this instance where I ordered a computer and I, and I received it in six days. So if you're scared of shipping delays, unless the part is out of stock and the shipping times that you see on the website changes as you change those or as you customize your computer, you're going to get it uh, fairly quickly, right? I think the first time when I ordered the OLED, they actually let me know and sent me an email to tell me when it was being built. With this one, they didn't. It just showed up a UPS. Hey, you're getting a a, um, a package coming to you because I get notifications when I sign up for UPS. And boom, it was the computer coming from Kunshan, China. I ordered it on the 1st of September. It was shipped on the 3rd and I received it on the 7th, right? I went from China to Korea to Alaska to um, Kentucky and then Atlanta and then to the city that I'm in right now. So it was fairly quick and I was shocked. Now, here's a tip for you. Don't buy this computer from Best Buy. Don't be drawn in by, hey, I can get it from Best Buy and get it in one day, vice waiting a week because you will waste money, right? I get it. Some of y'all are impatient ass motherfuckers, just like myself. I hate waiting for shit, but when it saves me a lot of money, I'd rather wait. So this computer, believe it or not, um, I got this during their Intel Gamer Days special with 17% off. So the total price came up to $2,072, right? I tried to cancel it because I was satisfied with the OLED and I changed my mind because that's what I do. Um, and when I did, I went back online and then they offered me another $170 off to keep it. So that brings it from 2072 to just over $1,900. The one at Best Buy right now is for $2,249. Or twenty three forty nine or twenty twenty two. I haven't checked it in in a minute because it's been changing like every few days. Um, Best Buy with the bullshit. So if you buy something from Best Buy, make sure you continuously check the the prices for as long as you have your return period fifteen thirty or forty five days because it changes a lot. This computer changed or the Alienware that they have changed prices at least three or four times when I bought the OLED one, uh, and then when I bought my son uh, the one like this with the with the lower. Um, options on it. So this one has the same specs. It's the Core i7-10875 with eight cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD, RTX 2070 Super, none of that Max-Q bullshit. Uh-uh. We don't do that. So like I said, I bought and tried to return it, but I couldn't turn it off because it was already being built. I thought that since they didn't send me an email to let me know that was it was being built, it wasn't. But in fact, uh, after about 30 minutes in chat, she was like, I can't turn it off, but when you get it, just hit us up. You can return it. But oh, hey, if you keep it, here's another 170 bucks. Um, Kind of makes you scratch your head because now you're getting a great deal on a great laptop that, again, they don't have many reviews on this. So here I am letting you guys know how I feel about it. So I'm fairly new at making these videos. I'm not doing it for money. I'm just doing it because I ain't got shit else to do. And I like to talk about electronics. And some folks at work don't like to hear me talk about the shit or they're just not interested. So here I am. So my thoughts on this one compared to that one are basically the same, right? They're the same computer with the same specs, right? Uh, I love the keyboard, love the build quality. I love that Alienware flashiness. You don't see these a lot. And I kind of like having shit that folks don't have a lot of, or that's not a lot of out there, right? I kind of like being having folks ask me, hey, what's that? Or where'd you get that one from? Is that a Best Buy one? Oh, absolutely not. It's not a Best Buy one. This is one with 32 gigabytes of RAM with one terabyte where the Best Buy one has 16 gigabytes and 512. I don't know about you, but a lot of these games are big as hell and 512 will get ate up like, like me when I'm hungry going into an all-you-can-eat buffet, right? It's not going to last long. 
you know that 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 SSD gonna be tapping out three or four games in especially when you start adding what if you're trying to do videos or you're trying to do some music in that software you're going to have you know uh dongles hanging out the side with uh external hard drives and it's just or you'll have to pay another 200 to put another terabyte in here and then why do all that when you can just get it configured save some money and then use that money to get you an uh, uh, internal ssd which they do have a slot in here and i have done it it's fairly easy to pop these things open. Maybe I'll do a video on that to show you the process uh, on this one before I may send it back, but we'll talk about that later. So, um, like I said before, the main difference is the 300 megahertz buttery, buttery smoothness. You have to see it to believe it. I can record it, but if you're not watching on a, on a uh, high frame rate device, you're not gonna see the difference. I can play Madden on here and then play Madden on there and you're not gonna see it, right? First person shooters and and sports games, you can definitely tell, right? When I play Madden or NBA 2K on this, when I finally play it on that one, ugh, it's kinda this, even though this one is smooth, the OLED is smooth, it kinda looks like the Matrix because there's such a big difference in, in those frames getting kicked up. So um, do I recommend this? Of course I do. Right. If you don't want the OLED, if you don't, if you fear a little burning, um, if you fear uh, or if you need those extra frames, by all means, this is a viable option. Right. But only if you buy it and save the amount of money by going directly through Alienware and waiting for those those prices to come down. If you don't get the 17 percent off, which that special is over, um, you can always hit up up in chat and tell them, hey, I want to do you have any discounts? They'll ask you to email them your cart and then they'll either drop it 100 and something, 200 and something. But one time they just they just took 10 percent off and was like, here you go. 10 percent off. Just go. Here's your cart back. Uh, click this link. Go buy it. You know, and then you can still buy it. Wait a few days hit them back up to cancel. And since it's already started being built, they'll probably just offer you another 170 70 or 150. Once it was 150, one time it was 170, and then another one uh, uh, said 100. So I just kept trying until somebody uh, gave me a, a, a good chunk of the price off. Now this one was 2278, but I paid extra. Obviously they're just about the same price. I just paid extra for that OLED screen over there, which was I think a $166 option. All right. so. Um, how does it perform when you're, when it's under stress, right? I played Tomb Raider, uh, a few minutes ago. I had it on for about an hour. The fans do kick up. They do get loud. It's like every other gaming computer under high stress. It's to, for the safety of the computer to keep that CPU, GPU down. Um, but surprisingly it was low, right? Well, not low, but low for me running a game at max settings. So what I'll do now is open up tomb raider or shadow of the tomb raider which shows up on every benchmark on every video reviewer out there and it just show you uh, how it performs under a load so hopefully it doesn't crash because if it does i'm gonna leave it in the video just to let y'all see that um that i don't try to hide anything or i'm not being sponsored because i ain't got no damn followers anyway but you know um to let y'all see how it performs under a load now before I get in here, and you can see I have the uh, NVIDIA frames per second um, up here in the upper right corner. Uh, before I get into this, I can set, I can open up Alienware Control Center and pretty much tell the computer or the laptop uh, what I want it to be when I open up Tomb Raider. So right now I have Tomb Raider selected and what I can do over here is set the power, set the audio, and then set the thermal performance. And so every time I open up Tomb Raider, it's gonna to change to these. If not, it's gonna to change to the default down here, which is thermal is balanced and then power is balanced. Now, if you wanna know what these definitions are, I can do another video on how this operates, or you can just look it up on Dell's website, right? Um, they'll tell you exactly what each of these options, performance, cool, quiet, full speed, and balance. Obviously, full speed is just gonna kick up the fans all the way um, at all times. But I like to keep it on, um, high performance and high performance just to get the squeeze the best out of it and here we are so i'm at tomb raider open up display and graphics i'll turn it down a little bit right as you can see it's on 1080p um i can turn on rtx dls and then on the graphics yes 
on graphics i have everything at max right it says custom because if you put it on highest everything won't be on its highest i don't know why it does that but you go in here manually and kick up everything to max right so um even i even have ray tracing cranked all the way up right so here we go we're gonna run the benchmark so you can see its performance up here in the upper right screen. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully you can, because it is lime green. I can't, I don't think I can change the color, but I'll just dictate it to you as it goes along through each of the three cut scenes. So you can see the performance of this. Now, so now this is probably one of the most difficult areas with the lighting, I got ray tracing on, but right now, as you can see the frames per second up in the upper left corner is 66 steady and it's smooth. And this is at max settings no option turned down and it works just perfect it's it's great now when i run this same thing on the oled at 4k straight matrix so i always have to kick it down a little a couple notches it's still clear as hell right it, she's still a little bit more detailed because i do have it kicked up to 4k but at the same time it's not running at, at ultra settings on that computer on this one you can run it at 1080p at max settings with no problem, all right? I think the lowest it drops is like, you know, as you can see now it's 49, but it'll kick back up once it loads up. And this is probably one of the most difficult scenes because of everything, the light coming through the trees, the detail in the leaves and the grass, the shadows coming off of her skin as she walks through um, the forest. Um, as you can see, it's dropping down to 48, but if you wanted to kick up to 60 and be a, a steady 60, just kick down ray tracing a couple of notches and you won't have an issue. But it's still it's still smooth, right? It's that 300 hertz buttery smoothness doing its work. Um, I always touch here, it's running cool right now because if it was, then the fans will kick up since I have it on maximum performance. And then when we're done, I'll just show you uh, what the thermals are at from, from running this uh, stress test, or not stress test, but running this benchmark which is supposed to stress test, right? To see if your computer can handle the uh, the scenes outside. This one always runs at high rate until it gets down to uh, where the locals are, are hanging out at. But um, still, I don't have the other games that folks use to compare, but I thought that this one usually um, stresses it out pretty much um, to its max. Cause I had a couple other computers in here and yeah, you know, uh, Asus or Asus, I don't know how you pronounce that. G14 struggled uh, on this scene. Um, but all the other computers, the GE60, the MSI GE66, no problem. Um, obviously this one, no problem once I kicked it down a few notches and then um, the razor blade struggled with it, but that's a 4K OLED. So as you can see, it drops down to 52, but everything is still running fairly smooth, no problem. Gotta, gotta love that buttery smoothness with everything that's going on. So you can just imagine with only 22 people on the field, plus the crowd um, that are pretty much programmed ahead of time, that when you play games like Madden or NBA 2K, that they're gonna run clearly into your 60s, 70s, 80s, and it's gonna look like they're, you're watching TV. You know, I was even watching basketball the other night and then playing basketball in a game, and I actually preferred what was on my damn screen than what was on the TV. Because on my damn screen, it was 4K while on the TV, uh, pumping through Comcast. Uh, you know, it's 10, probably 1080i, if anything. So here we are, average frames per second, 63. Uh, at, at 63, number of frames, almost 10,000. So again, this that 10, RTX 1070 Super doing its thing. Um, you know, but other than the screen not being too bright and not being as crisp, but you will only notice it if you look at the, the, the 4K first, would you notice? Because if I just bought this computer and didn't experience a 4K display, this would be on my uh, on my lap right now. Like literally, this would be uh, in my house and this would be my purchase uh, to keep. Am I gonna keep it? I don't know. Do I recommend it? Hell yeah, because it's a good computer. Keyboard lighting, the uh, exhaust light in the back, it keeps fairly cool. Uh, right now we can check the thermals to see where they are. Another thing I like about the Alienware Control Center is when I go here, as you can see, I'm tapping at 74 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU is at 63 degrees Celsius. So 
it was running. I only ran it one time, but to see, like I said, before I ran, I was playing the game for about an hour, and when, when I clicked over, it got nowhere over 80. And that's at, um, that's at performance or thermal performance, which means it's going to push it to the edge um, until um, it has to it has to throttle because it's getting uh, at or over 100 um, degrees Celsius. So uh, with that being said, that's it for this video. Um, like I said before, do I recommend it? Yeah. Uh, the only thing I'm, that I'm mad about is I cannot get this color because I love the dark side of the moon color. Uh, in you know in reference to this white because with the white i gotta just take care take a little bit more care of right but we all felt uh like felt felt bad about that when we got the xbox but this controller's been holding up pretty good um they do sell the gray mouse that goes with it Woo! that 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 i love shit that match so even if i do keep this i'm gonna have to go swap this this mouse out um because you know we, we ain't gonna have no mit, mix match is it mix match mismatch or mitch match who knows but y'all know what i mean we can't have these two not matching and uh try to roll with it because motherfucker look at you and be like what the hell is up with that who you stole that mouse from you get you dig what i'm saying so we don't want that you know um one other thing before i go is when i took this in you know in, in a dark room i did see some backlight bleed um mainly up here at the top i don't see it as much as i did before but you know, if you're playing a lot of games where it's dark, you know, that that IPS glow and that uh, that backlight bleed can get on your nerves. So just think about that, you know, because when I take uh, the OLED and put it in the dark, it's just dark because those pixels are off. All right. So that's what I have for right now. Uh, just a few things to, 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 to get to the bottom of uh, or that you get out of this is don't be afraid to to buy it, be patient and save your damn money. And even if you have to wait and chat for 30, 45 minutes, an hour to get them to offer you $150, $175 off, do it. Because again, $1,900 for this specked out Alienware M15 R3 with the upgraded uh, RAM, the upgraded SSD, the upgraded processor. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. I can't speak on reliability, but I think if it does start acting a fool, you guys will be the first to know. So there you have it. All right. So highly recommend it. If you buy it, hope you have fun with it. See you next time.